So last Wednesday on the episode of NXT during the match between Tony Nese and Dragon Maverick, Mauro Ronaldo said something that was pretty interesting and got me thinking. He said Drake Maverick's contract is about to expire. Uh, to me, that means that they are going all in, not hiding anything now. They're just going all in on this kind of work angle of Drake Maverick. Now, before I get all the backlash, I am personally not feel very good about the way and I don't support 100% the way that WWE has managed this angle and manage all the storylines after the uh, real release of Dragon Maverick and at the beginning I really wanted to think that maybe they were just trying to give the guy kind of a, like a good push on his way out as an in-ring performance so he was gonna be able to maybe like find another job or find a place in another different wrestling company as an in-ring performance but due to the way they have like kind of go through the weeks it's clear that this is not the angle that WWE is pushing for Drake Maverick right now. And it's quite obvious WWE is going to try to milk this as much as possible. And what I see here is, uh, at least on their eyes, it's a pretty good opportunity to put a lot of eyes on the 205 Live product and the NXT UK brand. Uh, both products that haven't, haven't had the success or the numbers that they were expecting for those. I'm not 100% against the way WWE is doing things right now. And before you ask me like, how you're gonna, how are you gonna be supporting a guy being buried on national TV? How you're supporting a guy that is pretty much being humiliated every single week? Well, the reason is that I'm pretty sure Drake Maverick, it's fine with this. Why? Because Drake Maverick is not, not only a very talented in-ring professional wrestler, but he's also a highly committed sport entertainer. Drake Maverick, we are talking about the guy that lost a match against a three-year-old kid when he had that match against Kim Maxwell, uh, the son of Matt Hardy, and he lost the match on TNA. And the guy was like three years old. Like, I don't know who else in the world has lost a match against a three years old, at least somebody that has already quite a recognized name. We're talking about a guy that allegedly pissed himself, like for real, in front of like 100,000 people in Survivor Series because the device that was supposed to use for faking himself pissing all over himself, uh, supposedly, uh, according to certain fonts, it, it, was, it had malfunctioned. So he actually just went for it and pissed himself for real. And we're talking about the guy that did all these shenanigans with the 24-7 title. And probably uh, among our truth with our truth they are both like, very serious for entertainment and guys that are like all in for entertaining uh, a guy that put like his real life his real wedding and his real honeymoon into the 24 7 angle storyline maybe uh, after being released and this video on twitter and all the people that came after like supporting him maybe wwe reached to him and said like hey you know we didn't know you had like all this support I didn't, we didn't know you have all these fans behind you and this is what we can do that's best for business. That's probably like what Triple H would say. And I'm pretty sure he went like, yes, yes, sir, I'll do it. I'll go with it. Because as I said, he's a very highly committed sport entertainer. So with all these being said, we decided just to go ahead with it and do some fantasy booking or what we think could happen during the next weeks with this storyline. So I'm Marty Phillips for Want to Talk Wrestling. And this is Drugs Maverick's storyline and the interim NXT Cruiserweight Championship Tournament title fantasy booking. So regarding the actual tournament, we need to remember that we have two groups of four uh, wrestlers, right? And whoever wins the most matches or has like a higher score at the end will face the winner from the other group. If we have a tie, uh, the match they had between both person involved in the tie, whoever won that match is going to be the one advancing to the final. Now, after the final, whoever wins is going to be crowned the new interim cruiserweight champion. And eventually, somehow, somewhat, somewhere, they will face, they will face Jordan Devlin. And what we suppose is going to be some sort of... Um, title of vessel title match. Now, this is going to be very tricky for Dragon Maverick to advance to the final, which is what we are projecting. 
Uh, Kushida will be, will be uh, Atlas. So that means he's going to be 2-0 on the scores. And then the final match of Kushida is going to be against Drag Maverick, who right now is 1-1. One -on -one. So Drag Maverick needs to win that match to qualify. So what we think is going to happen is that Kushida, as he's a babyface, somehow is going to forfeit the match to Drag Maverick. Remember when the New Day had to go through this golden match uh, for Kofi to get another chance in WrestleMania and the Usos came outside and they refused to do the match and they decided to forfeit, something like that. Something we did that kind of idea of we forfeit because we're baby faces and we want to help. So now Kushida and Drag Maverick are going to be two on one on the scores, but he, since he would forfeit that match, technically that will count as a win for Drag Maverick. So the, the tie will go in favor of Drag Maverick because he win that match. Now, on the other side of the group, after Atlas being defeated by Kuchida, he's gonna be one on one on the scores, but his final match is against Tony Nese, which have lost all the matches. And we also think he's gonna lose another one. So that means Jake Atlas is also gonna be two one on the scores. But since Atlas uh, beat Drake Maverick on the first match, that will mean that he will advance to the final. Since Tony Nese is the most obvious heel in this tournament, after losing against Jake Atlas, he's gonna attack him and he's gonna leave him injured and unable to compete, which means that Drake Maverick is gonna be the one advancing from Group A. And they, they will probably have some sort of storyline together. Uh, Jake Atlas has been pushed as a baby face, and since Nese is like one of those Ashley, um, heels it's gonna it's gonna work out pretty well for WWE to kind of push this image of Jake Kassler as the first gay champion and all of that you know like those things that WWE really like to take advantage of. Group B theoretically speaking Phantasma and Gallagher they will both end with a score of two against one which means that Phantasma will be the one advancing since Gallagher lost to him on the first match but he's gonna be surprisingly attacked by the luchador kidnapping guys because we all know that he's probably the leader of that and he has some sort of storyline with that. Maybe they're also gonna kidnap Tosawa or Surf Skull because the end of the match between Phantasma and Surf Skull was not very clear. So he's gonna go and do his own storyline with those like kidnapping luchadores. So that means Jack Gallagher is gonna be the one going through the final from Group B. So we reached the grand final on NXT and of course we're gonna be reminded like a thousand times that Drake Maverick is fighting for his career, he's fighting for his life, his contract is expired, he needs the title to continue in the company and blah 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 and all those things just to feel pity of the guy but Gallagher in his new persona he won't care. If you are not quite familiarized with the new persona of Jack Gallagher Check the, the original 205 guys versus NXT match. Uh, press the card over here and you're gonna go through it and you're gonna, gonna understand uh, what this new Jack Gallagher person is all about. Jack Gallagher is gonna go outside uh, to the match basically to kill Drake Maverick because he wants to teach him a lesson or something. Uh, they had some sort of rough times in 205 Live when Drake Maverick used to be the general manager because he wouldn't believe uh, in Jack Gallagher as a real in-ring competitor just because his looks when he used to look like a clown you know he used to wear like this kind of old school um, old school like carnival carnival wrestlers guy so Drake Maverick never liked that so maybe they could involve something like that and that's the reason that Drake uh, that Jack Gallagher wants to finally avenge or something like that and teach him a lesson and, and take him out of the company or something like that. I'm projecting some sort of angle where Jack Gallagher has been so violent against Drag Maverick that the referee will intervene or something and they will knock out the referee somehow so that will uh, give the opportunity to Jack Gallagher to use external objects, use like chairs and tables and maybe the strikers as weapon, basically everything in order to finish uh, Drake Gallagher in a way that we feel pity about him or something like that again because that's what they're trying to do uh, but without the referee seeing this in order not to be disqualified and eventually pin uh, Drake Maverick and win the interim title. After we see all of this maybe the next week William Regal will uh, formally announce that now Jack Gallagher will have to face Jordan Devlin in a title versus title match 
but regarding the circumstances of the previous match, now this match is going to be a triple threat match and will also include Drake Maverick. And that match is going to take place on NXT UK to cover Blackpool. So on NXT UK to cover Blackpool is going to be a triple threat between Jordan Devlin, Jack Gallagher and Drake Maverick titles versus title versus career because it's in the UK and the three guys are from the UK so that's money it's money for WWE so that's the reason they're gonna do it now what's gonna happen of the match I'm not sure I don't really know if they are ready to put like a title on Drake Maverick if they are ready to give them his job back maybe they are gonna still like test during the time what's going on you know and all the support but i'm pretty sure drake maverick in the uk is gonna get like way more support than he's getting now and since it's three people in the ring probably jack gallagher can take the pin and we cannot save um the image of jordan devlin so he doesn't have to lose his title because of his own fault uh, then we can just, just continue like this kind of angle between jordan devlin and drug maverick because that's where the money is but that's our fantasy booking of the angle of Drake Maverick. Let us know what you think about it, if you have a different idea. If you think that we are being very bad in the way we treat it, let us know. Comment down below. Uh, once again, if you're already subscribed to us, thank you very much for passing by again. If you are not subscribed, there's a button down below that says subscribe. You can press it. It's pretty easy. Like Just like this. Do like this in the subscribe button and it will help us a lot. Uh, like us if you like the video. If you didn't like the video, go ahead and press this like button and comment and down below that you dislike me for some reason and we'll see you back on thursday for discussing what's going on with these uh cruiserweight title matches and let's see how wrong it was or maybe if i was right on anything again this was marty phillips for one to talk wrestling and see you guys soon